for you today. I have another Dollar Tree haul for you guys and I feel like it's been a little while since I have had one even though it probably really hasn't been but I guess um I've just been so excited to show you the things I found. I It is hot and muggy out. Yesterday in Michigan I was wearing a hoodie because it was so chilly and today I am sweating my hair i i swear you guys my hair looked good this morning and then it i don't know what happened the humidity just made like my bangs all curl up like wingdings and it looks ridiculous i think it still looks ridiculous but i just could not wait anymore to have this haul and so funky hair and all here i am cool right so, I've just got to start out. I've got to start out with the my favorite thing that I found this week at Dollar Tree. And if you have been watching me for any bit of time, you know by now I, I really have a thing for unicorns. And, yeah, so they have unicorn party supplies. They have um, the pack of bigger plates, which there are 18 in here. And look at how pretty the, the unicorn that's on here um, reminds me of the unicorn from, it's one of my favorite movies, it's The Last Unicorn, and Mia Farrow actually uh, does the voice of the unicorn in that movie. It's an animation, if you've never seen it, uh, I think you would like it. Your kids probably wouldn't like it. Um, I really think it was designed more towards an adult movie, animated movie. Um, not that there isn't anything in decent in there, but I just don't think kids would like it. But yeah, so unicorn, crazy up in Dollar Tree. Um, they have the like cake plate size. There are 20 of them in here. I can't believe it. And then they have the napkins. 20 napkins and I found it's a tissue centerpiece and it's pretty decent size really cute and then what is this some kind of hangy doodad type of thing and I think there's only oh wait three pieces so I think from what it's saying you get all three we're gonna focus focus oh sorry there's three different pictures that go in there so I got two sets of each plates and to be honest with you Lily's birthday was in May so it's already gone my birthday was in May so it's already gone but I don't know I'm just gonna have a party just so I can use this unicorn stuff and you know what it's my party I can unicorn if I want to right right you only live once and yeah so they had um I want to say they had a couple more things I think they had banners but uh, I don't think they specifically had these unicorns on them so I didn't get them I just really fell in love with the actual picture of the unicorn she is so pretty so pretty love it Dollar Tree you are just on point um, and another one of my favorites which I know it's a favorite for a lot of you and I don't know I guess it's just you know the little girl in us that maybe these things bring nostalgia um, I don't know what it is but the mermaids <laughs> unicorns and mermaids i just love it and you know glittery love it love it girly girly i just love it so yeah it's just a gift bag and let's see the sides of it are just like that nothing special but it's pretty the, um, the tail has glitter on one side but the other side does not have the glitter but they only had one of one, and I snatched it up. Yeah. Um, okay, I'll just go with what I have. 
closest to me. They had some new DVDs this week. Uh, that was kind of the Dollar Tree special in front of the doors as you walked in. And they had some movies I was interested in. So they have this one here. It's the, the Dragon Pearl. And I know um, Sam Neill is a bigger name. But I don't know the other ones, but it, it looks, you know, interesting. I like to try and have family movies here for when Lily comes every other weekend. Um, you know, we like to have movie nights sometimes. So I picked that up for a dollar. You just really can't go wrong, right? Um, the little girl and me again. Shirley Temple. I'm not particularly a fan of like all Shirley Temple movies, but ever since I was a little girl, I just loved The Little Princess. And on this one, there's two discs, you guys, two discs of Shirley Temple movies for a dollar. Um, just in case there are any fans out there, disc one has Glad Rags to Riches, War Babies, Kid in Hollywood, Politics in Washington, Kid in Africa, Dora's Dunking Donuts, Part of My Pops, Shirley Temple, Biggest Little Star of the 30s. I don't know what that is. Um, and then disc two is the whole movie of The Little Princess. So for me, just to have that movie for a dollar made the whole set worth it. So really awesome. Um, found a Blu-ray. And this has Danny Glover in it, and it's Age of the Dragons. I haven't heard of it in particular, but we love fantasy movies, dragons. Um, we watch Game of Thrones and, uh, of course, Lord of the Rings. So I thought that this would be right up our alley to watch. So I know if you're watching this video, babe, yep, we're going to be watching that. And then I found this one here. It's called Ragamuffin. And this is what the front looks like. And it says the story behind the hit song, Awesome God. Um, it says, in the end, it won't matter if you have a few scars, but it will matter if you didn't live. And it was a quote from Rich Mullins. And it's based on the life of Rich Mullins, who... Um, I'll just read the back a little bit. His life was a whirlwind. His music was honest. His faith was reckless. Based on the story of Rich Mullins, a musical prodigy who rose to Christian music fame and fortune only to walk away and live on a Navajo reservation. So I thought for a dollar, yeah, definitely, definitely. We like faith-based movies, so very cool. I found a couple books because I love the books and this one here it's a big book really big book the dark days club so the first thing that drew me in really was the cover it looks kind of interesting really detailed and it is a story set in the 1800s I like historical um, fiction and but it's also a kind of a fantasy book I haven't I've started reading it I haven't got to really what the fantastical part of it is yet but um, so far it really is interesting the story is captivating me and I'm finding myself you know wanting to go back and just sit and read more and more and more of it so if you happen to see that and you like historical fiction and fantasy then I'm so far I'm gonna say yeah go pick this one up for sure for a dollar what was the regular price it was uh, regularly $18.99 and then I found it's called 940 Saturdays and it says it's a family activities and a keepsake journal and this is what it looks like it's kind of a puffy cover Kind of cool. It retailed for $24.99 and 
It says there are 940 Saturdays between a child's birth and the day he or she turns 18. That may sound like a lot of time when there are adventures to plan and hours to fill, but as your child learns to walk, ride a bicycle, and drive, the years pass quickly. This beautiful package includes both a removable booklet with a thousand ideas for family activities for every age that you and your child will love in a keepsake journal for preserving what you saw and did, thought and felt, so you can savor these memories in the years to come. And it's just... It's a really nice book. So here you have your journal entries. Okay. And then as you get towards the back of it, there's just developmental milestone. Because I'm thinking that this might be a really cute gift to include for someone um, if they're having a baby so I want to hang on to this I don't know of anybody right now that is having a baby but our oldest daughter Katie just recently got engaged so hopefully we'll have babies in our future and I just think this might be something she would be interested in um, so for a dollar really cute for sure okay um, Moving along, people moving along. Uh, yeah, it's kind of, I am just, I am dying. And you know what's crazy, you guys, is we just got a pool installed on Thursday, last Thursday. And then it got cold. It was raining all weekend. It got cold, which I guess in the scheme of things doesn't really matter because, um, when they installed the pool on Thursday, they said, okay, your pool's installed, but you can't get into it for six days. I'm like, what? Six days? And they explained that the liner, um, the weight needs to settle on the liner and the sand at the bottom, so the floor of the pool will remain nice and smooth and flat. And if we walk in it or even put the ladder in it, it's going to just cause uh, funky ruts. And then we'll have, you know, lumpy floor of a pool for the next 20 years. So, but now here it is. It's sunny. It's humid. It's hot. I'm sweating. I would love to be able to jump in this pool in my backyard that I can't even use yet. True story. But I know, I know. First world problems, right? But anyways, moving along. Um, I broke down and got one of these candles that everybody's been hauling. And I still maintain that, to me, they just they don't smell that good. And I don't know, maybe it's because they don't have lids on them. You know, the, the old Williamsburg mason jar ones that we all love, which I actually have one burning right here. And it's smelling up the whole living room. I love them. But they have lids on them. So maybe the cold sniff that we get from them is simply because we're, you know, turning, taking the lid off and getting that big whiff. These are just open. I don't know. I got the salted caramel. I figured if I don't get one and they end up being really awesome, I'll regret it. So I just got one. See what happens. If it smells great, um, my Dollar Tree right around the block had a ton of them, so I'll go get more. And they really are a nice big jar candle, you know, really great. So let's see. All right, some kind of boring items, some food items. They have these Austin vanilla cream cookies. Again, uh, if you've watched my hauls, you'll know I keep just a little um, little bin that has snacks in there for when the little ones come over. And they can just grab something out of there. Try to keep an assortment of healthy things and yummy things and whatnot. So for a dollar, six packs of these vanilla cream cookies. And there are six cookies in each thing. Such a good deal. And I did taste them and pretty good another snacky thing for the bin they had these Annie cheddar bunnies in a four pack 
And again, Annie's is an organic brand. I'm really excited seeing this type of stuff coming into Dollar Tree. It's really awesome. But again, four packs of them. They are 0.75 ounces each. I think they're a perfect size for um, little ones with little hands. So that will go in my snack bin. And okay, they had these huge bags of craisins. Ocean Spray Craisins, and one of them is infused with blueberry, and the other one is infused with cherry. Um, they are both six ounces. I know darn well that in the regular store, these would be way more, way more than a dollar. Um, I'm pretty sure these probably aren't keto friendly. No, they are definitely not. But I really had the idea of um, at the bird. We have bird feeders in our backyard, and we love the bird. We love you know getting the birds to come. We have like these little purple finches, which I don't quite understand the naming of a purple finch because their heads are red. But I digress. Anyways, they're super cute and. When you have like a fruit and nut blend of bird food, in case you didn't know, it will really attract some different birds other than your standard like sparrow, chickadee type of birds. So when I get that fruit and nut blend, I get cardinals and the finches and, um, you know, some just a bunch of other birds. So I figured I will just add these to the fruit and nut. There you go. See if they like them. Anything else? Okay, yeah. Uh, Campbell's Chunky Baked Beans. I've never seen Campbell's Baked Beans. Have you guys? And the flavor sounded really interesting. I mean, it's definitely not as big as a can as those um, Moon Moonbeam, whatever. That uh, I can't think of the name, you guys. The one, the other one that's been at Dollar Tree, um, the whiskey one, I don't know. And they're definitely not as big as a can of Bush's Baked Beans, but they are 20.5 ounces, I think. I don't have my glasses on. But the flavor is maple, bacon, and beer, and that just sounds really, really good. So, got some of those. And I also like that they had the, the pop tab lid. Um, the Ortega tortillas that everybody's been hauling. I mean, plain and simple, eight of them for a dollar, burrito size, good deal. The rebuy for me is just Dollar Tree Saran Wrap. I hate all Saran Wrap, really. I don't think any of the name brands are any better than this. They usually don't stick to the things I want them to, so... I'd rather just pay a dollar than pay three or four dollars for the same type of product. And I don't use it that often. I, I use um, baggies like crazy. I got some of this True Lemon. This is a repurchase for me. It is not sweetened. It is not um, anything other than a lemon flavoring. It's equivalent, equivalent to using, I think they said like a quarter wedge of lemon or yeah, quarter quarter wedge of lemon um, in a bottle of water and it's simply if, if you like you know squeezing lemon into your water but you want it in a more convenient way there are 12 packets in here so I keep this around to help me um, you know sometimes I, I just I need flavor in my water and I am not a fan of you know artificial sweeteners at all they just really kind of make me feel sick so um, yeah so there we go uh, repurchase the pepper uh, peppercorns and it's the grinder for a dollar you guys you know that's a really good deal 1.5 ounce this will last quite a while and that's with using a lot of pepper in our household so get your pepper grinders and salt grinders there Repurchase for me. I know I can get um, like Dawn super cheap, almost free couponing, but I do not like Dawn dish liquid. For me, it tends to 
make my sponges and rags like stink for some reason. So this good old brand of palm olive oxy power degreaser it works really well um, I think it's really concentrated so you know that even though it's a smaller bottle it's um, 10 fluid ounces uh, it seems to last quite a, a long time this is something I've never purchased and it's this foaming super oxygen bathroom cleaner it sprays blue and then turns to right white it reminds me of um i buy i think it's kaboom all the time i really love the smell of kaboom but kaboom is like a purple color and turns to white so i figured i would just give it a try because kaboom can be pretty expensive Ooh, sorry if I... ah <laughs> sorry guys <laughs> all right on to the last bag that I'm doing today and actually I have some more stuff you guys but I'm like there's no way this is gonna be too long and I have way too much stuff so I'm going to do um, a separate a second Dollar Tree haul so be looking out for that uh, maybe tomorrow um, I'm not sure if I'll even get this video up tonight so just be looking for that in the next couple days I really hope you will you know come back and watch the second Dollar Tree haul. Um, okay, so I've hauled several of these. I've hauled the one that has the mermaid on it. There are two other ones that have unicorns. And I have not seen this one. If, if there have been other people that have them, for some reason I have not seen them. So, like, I have to get it. So that completes all the unicorns. And it says magic is all around us and it's super glittery. So you'll definitely probably want to spray it with hairspray, um, you know, things like this so the glitter doesn't go all over the place, but really pretty. And let's see. Um, I found another toddler t-shirt. I mean, for a dollar, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just a beige color. The brand, I don't, I don't know what this brand is. It says Gildan. Uh, doesn't matter it's pretty decent quality and for my little great nephew who you know he's a little boy he's like growing like a weed and it's summertime getting dirty and for a dollar you know I had to get it for to give to my niece so he can wear it um, Another no-brainer, summertime, I needed some aloe gel. Now that we have a pool, want to make sure that just in case our sunblock, you know, washes away or whatnot, that we have some aloe close by. Uh, let's see, what else? What else? What else? Here we go, I'm dropping things because I'm so good at dropping things. Okay. Excuse me one moment. Sorry about that. Okay. Lots of stuff. I got one of these, like, I don't know, I, you can say flimsy feeling um, binders, three hole binders. But I actually have one of these. It's it's just a plain one that it's really cute. My husband um, had got it for me back when we were early on dating, I think for my birthday. He had went to Dollar Tree, and this is long before the idea of Dollar Tree hauls even came to be for me. Um, he was just really thoughtful, and he got me like a binder and some, um, some of the the see-through page covers and some other office supplies for for me because I had just got a promotion so I was going into my own office uh, moving out of like cubicle area and having um, my own office so he put together a little office gift for me but I had to get it because again has unicorns and pineapples and cherries and ice cream cones and cupcakes and just looks retro 80s and happy and I just love everything about that. <laughs> um, 
Dollar Tree has went crazy on unleashing for some reason 2019 calendars and I really don't even want to think about 2019 yet but I saw how stinking cute some of these calendars were and Dollar Tree suckered me in so here we go um, they had 2019 through 2020 it's just one of the if this is a two-year uh, pocket planner and this one is the Psalms and which again if you watch anything about me you know I, I love these things that have like scriptures and things like that so every month basically has a picture in there and then it'll have a psalm in there so you know for a dollar really really nice I remember um, I don't know does Hallmark still do this you used to be able to go to Hallmark and get a free just kind of plain looking paper pocket calendar but did I say calculator earlier now that I think about it, I think I had a brain fart instead of a calculator, but whatever. It's a calendar. You know what I mean. Um, and then I got this 2019 planner. And it's a monthly page format. So I'll just show you. There you go. You know, your standard. And this one is strictly going to be for meal planning. Um, my husband and I are going to be doing keto and... I anticipate we are going to be doing keto well into 2019 so I picked this up so I would have it ready to go in handy and then just feeding my 80s nostalgia addiction they had strawberry shortcake and caramels love it so cute so I have one that's going to be for home and the other one will be for work. And I don't care. I don't care that I am 43 years old and will have a strawberry shortcake or a Care Bear calendar. I really don't care because I like them and they make me feel happy inside. And yep, yep, had to have them. Um, okay, some folders, beautiful, beautiful folders that Dollar Tree had, and this one is just my complete favorite. It says, Dream Big Little Mermaid. Look at how pretty that is. It's all glittery and has like the scales on there, and the back of it is not glittery, just like that, and the inside is plain white. I kind of like because then I can decorate the inside with whatever stickers um, that I might like. So I grabbed a couple of those. And then the Flamingo Stand Tall. Really beautiful. Pink chicken! Yes! Love it. So cute. And again, it's not glittery on the back and white inside. And then this one is Be Sweet and Wear a Crown. Glittery front, pineapple on the back, and this is not a sticker that comes off, which, which is kind of dumb, really. <laughs> uh, they all have that? I guess so. Oh, whatever. Um, this was something that I've never seen before. It's a nourishing coconut oil, coconut oil conditioning treatment. It says beginnings by Hask. I honestly have not looked it up yet. I don't even know, but um, yeah. So this is one fluid ounce, and I'm not even going to attempt to read the back. But the packaging on it, it, it looked really nice. Like maybe it was a brand name, so that's why I picked it up. And my hair. Um, it's, you know, very curly and, like, dry. Um, even though I, I don't use heat on it, really, it's still just dry and frizzy. So, I thought maybe that would work well. Uh, a couple more things. I got these for, if you watch my last haul, I got some magnetic, like, pen marker holders to keep on the refrigerator for, um, 
for the erasable type of calendars we keep on there. And I had bought some other ones um, from Dollar Tree, some name brand, but I thought I would pick these up. These are Promarks. And FYI, we were at Menards yesterday, and Menards had a school section going on, and they had this Promarks brand there. So I don't know if Promarks is a name brand or if it's just like, a catalog dollar cat dollar store catalog you know brand um but yeah i like these because they have the little erasers on there so even if the markers don't work all that well i wanted the eraser part and then this is a name brand avery is a name brand it's uh it's a big office product brand i don't know if you can get avery like at walmart um I know it to be at like Office Max, Office Depot, Staples. Um, big on labels. I use Avery labels uh, at work and templates. So uh, two markers for a dollar. Really good price. And then the last couple things. This is a repurchase. More Germax for a dollar. You guys, if you have not picked any of this up yet, this is the 10 fluid ounce bottle. It is, you know, a good size bottle. It's a big bottle. Um, dollar Tree usually has the smaller Germax bottles for a dollar. So to get this in the store, I, this is my, see, I get excited because this is like my favorite hand sanitizer. I love the smell of it. Um, Bottles here go for um, like three to four dollars. So every time I'm going, I'm picking up a couple if I see them until I don't see them anymore. Uh, so yeah, Germax. And then the last thing that I bought, I saw these Carmax Ultra Hydrating Moisture Plus Lip Balm. They have aloe, vera, aloe and vitamin E and soft vanilla flavor and SPF 15. And there are two of them in there and if you can see, they have a light pink look to them with kind of a lacy design. And I was like, that is a really good deal for a dollar. I, I use Carmax all the time, especially in the winter. So probably hang on to those. And, well, I don't know, it's summertime, so, and it has SPF. So maybe I'll pick up some more to have for the winter. But, yep, that is my Dollar Tree number one. Our Dollar Tree haul number one. Um, I thank you guys so much for your support. And if this is your first time watching, I just want to thank you for taking the time to to watch this video. And I really hope that you will hit that subscribe button below. Um, I really would appreciate that support. And if you would like this video, give it a thumbs thumbs up, um, share it, whatever you want to do. That's cool with me and come back and watch part two. So thank you guys again. Love you guys. Bye.